Joe Lightsaber back again with another video. I want to give you guys an update over this weekend about a few tokens that we talked about recently. Also want to talk about buy-down and how it looks to be as if it is getting a little bit of a breakout over here. But before we get onto that, we're going to talk about SMPL and we're also going to talk about this pattern on O10, which looks like it could be post for breakout and also some news that I might be able to give you and how you can benefit from more rewards for adding liquidity. Okay, so with SMPL, we can see that I had this drawn out as a bearish pattern, which I posted on the group. And I said, look guys, at the end of the day, this is normally a bearish pattern. So we have to consider the bearish scenario, even though we are super bullish on SMPL. If it was to fall out of this, it wouldn't be a good look, all right guys? But it does look like we are getting a breakout of a bearish pattern, which I would say is super bullish for SMPL. My strategy on this was I got in and I bought my tokens, okay? When I made 100%, what I did is I took half of that out, all right? Plus 50% profit, okay? So I took out my initial investment, plus another 50% profit. I then left the other 50% in, and what I did is I staked that, okay? So um, I will get the rewards from that, and hopefully uh, this will continue going up, and I will take a nice profit from it eventually. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm hoping that uh, this can uh, go into the thousands so uh, it's good to uh, you know take take your initial investment out take a little bit of profit and leave some skin in the game hopefully um, this can you know provide another moon day scenario or like vox or whatever this can go to 1000 2000 3000 maybe even 5000 all right so uh, yeah we'll have to wait and see how that plays out but as you can see as we as, as we're recording the video this is actually breaking out bullish of a bearish pattern need to, need to see a candle body close above this level to invalidate this pattern and therefore start a new pattern and um or, or find a new pattern somewhere but yeah this is looking good at the moment guys all right i want to give you an update about o10 now obviously we can see we have the triangle here all right and it does look like it is trying to break out okay at the moment okay i've had this drawn um since yesterday okay and now it's come up it's come down We've got that bounce okay if it was to fall out of that pattern i don't think that would have been a good look because that that would have been a long way down in my opinion which i posted in the group yesterday but to get a break out of this pattern would be super bullish and we can potentially get a third wave up all right so if it is a third wave then you know normally the, the free wave is the biggest wave of them all um, as we're recording smpl is making a new all-time high all right guys so that's super bullish like i said need to get the candle body close all right don't sleep on this one guys smpl you can look at yesterday's video and see what i said about that and um yeah super bullish on that all right so going back to o10 all right so o10 uh, if we can get a break out of this triangle that will be super bullish as well in my opinion now um they've got a uh, uh, um, a competition where you know the top holders get a share of the um you get a share of the supply okay you get a share of some o10 all right now they've updated the competition okay and the top liquidity providers or all liquidity providers will share 0.6 o10 all right so if you are a liquidity provider already you might as well add some more um especially you know if you are looking to get into a position based on on this this breakout because it probably will come and that's just my opinion um so yeah there's benefits there more incentives for you to uh, add liquidity also the top 10 holders will share 0 0.65010 and position 1 to 3 will be 0 0.1010 position 4 to 10 will be uh, 0 0.05010 all right guys so um yeah definitely some more incentives there for you to hold that uh, definitely some more in uh, incentives there for you to add liquidity all right guys the more liquidity that goes into this the more attractive it's going to be to new potential investors all right guys so don't sleep on o10 uh could be some fireworks in this like i say it, it might, the, the move might not be over yes it is only 10 supply all right guys and um yeah that's why a lot of people are super bullish on this i have been talking to a member of the team and there is a potential exchange listing coming up soon potentially all right guys obviously non-disclosure agreements and all that so I'll, they won't be able to tell me who that is or when but um yeah there is potential for that so uh stay tuned for that also all right guys moving on to bid by dow okay so by dow uh, it does look like it's getting a little bit of a breakout at the moment, okay? But it's not confirmed until we take out this level over here. 
anywhere in this range I would say is pretty good if we um, don't consider that wick alright but the pattern looks kind of good alright it might even get rejected and come back down and then could potentially put in a, a head and shoulders pattern uh, potentially alright guys but it does look like it is trying to curl around into the right direction or the direction that many people have been waiting for for a hot minute okay if we see that cur curved formation all right um and that's a bit of a wonky line all right guys um in fact let's just try and draw that again i'm not good at using paintbrush i'll be honest with you let's go slowly okay yeah that's the kind of thing that we're looking for all right guys putting some higher highs and some higher lows and then potentially you know we can hopefully see this come out of this long winded downtrend that it's been in since the first of october it's been a whole month guys we're at the end of october now all right so but perhaps perhaps we could see a bullish november for buy down that would be nice at least then i'll be able to bring some good news for you guys i'll be able to bring some more positive videos in terms of price action all right guys but we have to wait and see whether that can happen but like i said good news is it is kind of forming that reversal type of you know um uh, i can't say you know trage trajectory at the moment until we start moving um you know into the higher levels and it holds this curve potentially all right guys yeah uh, a few people are still kind of uh, upset about buy down um upset about you know um the fact that the token burn hasn't come yet all right I wonder whether the token burn could come in November. There's still a few exchanges that haven't been announced. Okay, if you remember uh, at launch, we were expecting seven exchanges, one of them being Uniswap. Uh, we've had another few. We've had Who.com, which listed them off their own accord, I believe. Um, so that wasn't numbered in the seven. We had Poloniex. Um, and the thing with Poloniex, I kind of knew that that was going to come all along. I can't believe we forgot about that because obviously they partnered with uh, Tron and Justin Sun announced them as a, as a, as, as, as the, the partnership, even on his Twitter. And Justin Sun, you know, they, they, he acquired, um, you know, large shares in Poloniex, you know, the majority share, I believe. And don't, uh, don't quote me on that because I could be wrong uh, about the majority, but they definitely did acquire some large shares in Poloniex exchange. So it was more than likely that uh, Bida was going to get listed on there. So that didn't surprise me. But also we saw a few other exchanges. Um, I can't remember. I think it was L Bank and uh, another one. You know, but um, yeah, there's still a few more exchanges that we are expecting. And uh, yeah, it'd be good to see some more news on those. You may have noticed that not really any of the exchange announcements did pump the price of buy down. Okay, apart from Poloniex which gave it, I believe it was, it was either this pump over here or that pump there. I think it may have been that one. It was a bit of a 30% pump, okay? Um, we, 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 which Bidal, you know, couldn't sustain and it just came straight back down and obviously it's continued the downtrend. But um, yeah, we're good to see uh, some, some good bullish news um, that, that will bring this further to the upside. Obviously, um, me saying that this is on a curve that's bullish okay potentially all right but it's not in a bullish scenario yet because we have to consider the bearish scenario okay so before i go i want to do that for you all right if we put a horizontal over here okay and we show this support and resistance okay so we've got did come down a little bit below there all right but we're showing that this line is support okay this line was support, all right, bounce, bounce, okay, when it broke down below that, had a little bit of a week, it's coming back to retest this as resistance, okay, got rejected down there, but the good news is it hasn't continued down further, it's coming up to try and test it again, and the more times you test the resistance, the more times you're likely to break it um, eventually, all right, same idea with support, all right, where it is coming up to test it again, you can see that it's just getting rejected at the moment, okay, now if it can break through, that will be bullish because at the end of the day, we're coming back above the support line. It needs to find some support and then start to continue going upwards and make those higher highs and higher lows. We could get rejected or like it, like it is getting right now. We could get some more candle closes below this level. What we want to see, we want to see it curling back up to come for another test of this resistance line and then eventually get the breakout. If that does, 
then what we'll potentially see, we could potentially see a head and shoulders pattern, all right? But that is not guaranteed. That is a potential scenario. So keep your eyes peeled for that, okay? That's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'm always interested to know what you guys think. Also, get over onto Twitter and follow me at Crypto Lightsaber. C R Y P T O L Y T S A B E R. You can also become a Patreon. The link is in the description. Click on that, you'll find out how you can get access to the Telegram group. And guys, that's about it. I will see you in the next video.